Yo guys, what's going on? Jackson here from Maroon TCG, and today I'm going to be showing you just a fun little strategy for a less represented um, color, which is red. And um, I kind of preluded to this uh, few, like one video ago, and I'm pretty excited to show this to you guys because I think it's a pretty fun strategy and it's like a super aggressive um, like this strategy. This isn't going to be a deck list per se, but it'll just kind of be showing you the core cards that you're going to need to be able to run it. So, before I get into it though, uh, you guys need to make sure to subscribe, um, leave a like, and then join my Discord because we're going to be doing something really cool in like two days now. So that's going to be a big event and I cannot wait for that. And let's just make sure to join the Discord. It's in the description. If you want to support me by getting your hands on a pack of Rune TCG, like this one. Um, just, yeah, that's also in the description. It's the Game Crafter link. And let's just get into it, guys. So, Red is kind of known for having super quick attackers, like Sunspear. 5 HP, 250 attack, which is monstrous for a minion that only needs two red runes, but its ability kind of hinders it. So what it says is, when this minion attacks, discard all runes attached to it. Normally that would be a problem, but in set one, there are actually two cards that make it so you don't really have to, there's no consequences to Sunspear. So let's just say you have Sunspear in your active minion slot, like that. Then you have one of the two, Karnari, 20 HP, 20 attack, and its ability says as often as you would like during your turn, you may move red runes in between all of your red, all of your minions in play. So, if you have that in your bench slot, you can move um, runes if you don't have a Sunspear in play. Like, let's say you're just sitting with a Kanari and then you play a Sunspear, you can just move it, move all the runes that you need to attack and get easy turn, one turn hits. So the the other card you're gonna need is Suka. Um, it has 100 HP, 50 attack, and it's pretty good um, minion. Its ability says if a rune would enter your discard pile, you may attach it to this minion instead. So basically what this means is this um, Sunspear attacks, and then you discard all the runes on it. So they go to Suka, and then next turn, you can switch all your runes for using Kanari from Suka to Sunspear, and you can attack again. So it's a very powerful combo, and definitely a combo you guys should look out for in competitive, like, Rune TCG. So this is a really powerful strategy, and um, it's, this is the one of the ones I use. So if you want to make this strategy a bit better from just these core cards, which are all in set one, by the way, if you want to get them, you can, um, here, I'll take, show you the set one cards that work well first. So Nartov Knight, just an aggressive card, 60 HP, 70 attack. When played, you may search your deck for a red rune to attach to this minion. It's pretty good. Um, it pays for itself, so all you have to do is play it and attack. So it's really good. Then also, you got... Fast Blast, 5 HP, 200 attack, which is monstrous for a one rune minion. But its ability says when this minion attacks, it loses 5 HP. So that kind of sucks because it only gets to attack once, but your opponent doesn't. Now on to the set two cards. Sunspear Plus, obviously. It's an upgrade to Sunspear and it does the same thing, except it doesn't have to discard, so you don't even need any other cards. And then you also could use Spiny Wyvern. Um, it gains attack for every minion on your opponent's bench, so pretty powerful. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, uh, please comment down below if you um, would use this strategy, you think. And make sure to join the Discord, subscribe, and check me out on the Game Crafter. Thank you so much. Goodbye.